Hey everyone, this is Andrew Seifert here at Heritage Outdoors. Thank you so much for stopping by one more time. And um, I actually am going to be going over something I've been wanting to do. This is the, uh, I'm just introducing to you something that was shown to me by some of the guys at uh, Fairfield Outdoors. Um, this guy has traveled the U.S. He's been sponsored by Matthews. Um, he's a great shooter, absolutely phenomenal shooter. Um, one of the top guys at that archery range and I have complete respect for this guy. He introduced to me uh, the 21 day challenge. It's not a push up challenge or anything like that, but he's, you might've seen in my previous reel, uh, making fun of the hinge release and everything, this, this uh, doodad, and here I am, I knotted the string. Okay, so here I have a dowel rod and the string with the loop on it. This was customized uh, by me. I, I made this specifically for me in my draw length so it's called a draw string yeah so basically the dowel rod simulates the the grip on the bow you know how i'm holding the bow and i come back that's my anchor point and then i can just focus on following through with the shot and that one hung up a little bit but um what this does is it keeps you from just chasing your arrows down and worrying about your, you know, your X's or whatever it is downrange. This helps you just focus and just get comfortable with the release before you start focusing on your target. Um, for me, it's just one of those things like I want to shoot the X's. I want to shoot that spot that I'm aiming at. And trying to focus on the release and then doing that just it, it it's a conflict a conflict of interest or whatever so this is one of those things i've been trying to do um 21 days shoot this as much as you can um just while the kids are watching tv and whatnot you know you're just sitting here on the couch just going through the mechanics of that follow through just going through and the best thing is you don't have to put holes in the wall you know it's like shooting your bow inside you just don't have to chase down arrows that's what i like about it um and that is one thing you can do when it comes to getting some practice reps in for a hinge release i will say when i am shooting this correctly i do shoot i do shoot a lot more accurate than i am with the trigger i don't understand it but that's, I'm seeing it. I log all my shots. I log the scores and everything. I keep a little small journal. And that's something I've noticed about me personally is the hinge release for everyone. That's a personal preference. Thumb release, trigger release, fingers. Um, those are personal preferences. This is just another tool that you can use to help you in your journey to become a better and a more consistent archer and uh, that's just something that I just wanted to share that with you guys. What you can do, this is, again, this is the drawstring. Um, that's what Bill Ruck at Fairfield Outdoors, that's what he uh, shared with me. He's a great guy, uh, lights out shooter. Um, he's been sponsored by Matthews. He's traveled the U.S. shooting for Matthews. He's, he's a great guy. And when people that are, they have that reputation and they suggest doing something like this and that's what's helped them you, you turn your ears up you know pay attention to that so thank you so much for uh joining us this um this afternoon um hopefully this not not this maybe this will help you too but you know hopefully the 21 day challenge with the uh, drawstring will help you learn and figure out how to properly shoot the hinge release uh if you haven't already subscribe i'd really appreciate it um let me know if this helps let me know if there's something that's worked for you when it comes to the hinge release not the, not the sarcastic reel that uh, i put out there not too long ago but honest to goodness uh tips things like that that's helped you shoot a release what release do you shoot um those type of things thumb uh trigger um, release uh, fingers, you know, um, just let us know that in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a good day.